This is a 1968 Volkswagen uh, Beetle convertible and uh, it is a really, really good looking driver. It's not completely restored, but it's a really good looking driver. The engine, um, I just had the engine redone or gone through by Moon Air Cool. I shouldn't say redone because that's not fair. I didn't have it rebuilt or anything, but when we got the car in the shop, it was already running great. I just had uh, Clinton come over and you know double check everything. Nice and strong, good throttle response. It does have the uh, upgraded exhaust system. This car's got a few little upgrades to it. Um, it's got the upgraded exhaust system in the back. It's also got an upgraded front end that's an um, air adju uh, adjustable front end. I, not, I shouldn't have said air. It's not air. I don't think it is. But um, Clinton, I don't know a lot about that, but Clinton said, oh, hey, you got the upgraded front end. That's really expensive and nice. So when he was over here, that's a, my guy from Moon Air Cooled. Um, and he, he goes through the car from bumper to bumper, make sure everything works. It does. All the lights work. Turn signals work. The body on the car is super straight. Um, the paint is really shiny. I think there's one imperfection on the whole car or major imperfection if you want to call it. And that's, there is just, there is a little bit of bubbling coming through here. A little spot of rust, I want to get right up on that. Here's my finger so you can see. It's probably about an inch and a half to two inches. Um, and that's a little bit too bad. That's one of those spots that really needs to be, you know, ground down, um, POR 15 and then touched up. But the rest of the car looks so good. You can honestly touch up that one spot. I mean, a body shop would probably charge 150 bucks to do that. That's the only spot on the car that I've seen that looks bad or looks like it needs that. I don't see any other evidence of rust on the car at all. And so, um, so I'm, I'm really happy with it. It's a driver quality paint job. I mean, it looks really sharp. If you get right up on it, there's a couple of spots. By the way, if you'll notice in the, uh, you'll notice in the pictures right now, I guess, and in the video that we don't have the windshield wipers on there. So we do need to, we, we do have those and we will stick those back on. We just put a brand new windshield and uh, windshield, uh, weather stripping in it so that's why we had the wipers off but we do have the wipers and they do work um, tires are like new the uh, spirit of america center caps the mp wheels basically on there look awesome it's got a brand new top really nice extra padded the whole kit padding kit that was put in there is like it's supposed to be door panels are in excellent condition seats are in excellent condition the carpet kit looks doesn't look brand new, but it looks newer. Dashboard looks good, and the dash, I don't know if that's a cap or whatever, almost, that looks practically new. So, um, the headliner looks to be probably original, but was still in good condition, so they reused it. Not perfect, but still very clean. Back seat's in great shape. We'll drop this top real quick. Yeah. It's just right there, buddy. Okay. Oh, you're lowering it. You're going to go ahead and roll. Yeah, we can go ahead and roll the back windows down. There you go. That's it. Okay. Yep. And then just hold and then back up. Okay. And then here it goes. Oh, nice and squeaky. Um, speakers in the back. 
I didn't even realize that that had this back here. Oh, wow. It's got a whole stereo system back here. I had no idea this was back here. <laughs> this either. is crazy. I didn't either. So, I haven't turned the stereo on. I know. So, anyways. Well, there you go. You got a rocking... Holy smokes. This thing's got a freaking rocking stereo on it. Um, it does have a, like, here's another spot where the opening and closing the door. So I guess it actually does look like just a little bit of rust there in the corner. I didn't catch that before. That's why I do these video inspections while I'm doing a, the inspection. Sometimes I find things, um, doors open and close good. Uh, but I always want to disclose anything I find on the vehicle. Um, in fact, Glenn was just wrestling with this window over here. Yeah, there, there's this other, you got yeah, that we, one and then there's that one right there. Just yeah, that's just a little spot. Surface. That's not even, yes, yeah, surface rust. But um, I may have to have Clinton. I just had him. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a little tight. It's a little tight. Well, anyways, we better let, we better not mess with that. Well, I'll have Clinton take a look at that before the car goes out. It feels like it just needs to be greased. Yeah, I think so. Um, underneath the car, rockers are in great shape. Floor pans are in great shape. There's some George, uh, we call that um, Georgia red clay there, and maybe just a touch of surface rust. But I'm waiting for that camera to readjust. There we go. I don't see any holes. There's a one. There is one patch back there where the battery box goes. That's not unusual for the old batteries to have uh, for the old batteries to have leaked just a little bit. That's the one spot these all these cars usually find rust in. We keep the car parked in the same place inside the garage every day. It drips probably one time per day, which, uh, you know, the old saying is if they're not dripping, there's probably something wrong with them. So for it to have one tiny drop the size of, uh, you know, just a little droplet, maybe every day or so or every other day, the, uh, there's your, there's your uh, floor pan. It's been cut and a piece of metal has been put in on from the inside. Everything else under here is clean. That's all surface rust and dirt. But there's no holes or anything like that. Yeah, I don't know exactly how Clinton said to adjust that front end but he said it go, go, go it's adjustable although i guess you have it you kind of set it and leave it alone so there you have it um yeah if you want to pop the hood you can yeah no no detail no 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 good detail underneath here but it's all clean there's no rust So there you have it, 1968 Beetle. This thing's awesome. I think uh, right now 67s and 68s seem to be the most popular. And uh, I think that this has got, it's got just enough imperfections that it's not the 15 or $16,000 car. So, you know, we're dropping the price down on it a little bit from that to keeping in mind that maybe it needs a little touch-ups here and there, but really, overall, it doesn't need anything. It just needs a new, new owner and somebody's gonna have a blast with this thing. It's perfect time, ready for spring. And uh, it's, a, it's an awesome little car.